Halo semuanya, selamat datang di channel saya Paper Stories. Have you ever wondered what would happen if paper was never found? The leaves on the trees would run out from the constant plucking of people to write, pens never existed and libraries would be filled with metal plates filled with writing. Regardless, thanking Kylon might be the only thing we can do right now. Because of him, the civilization of the world has changed. Yes, Kylon was none other than the one who invented paper. History records that this Chinese man who lived during the Han Dynasty had made paper from mulberry bark. The inside is soaked in water and beaten until the fibers come off. Along with the skin, also soaked hemp material, used cloth, and fishing nets. After becoming mush, this material is pressed until thin and dried in the sun. Then be a paper whose quality is still not as good as now. There are not many records of Kailan, but there are some who say that he was a eunuch. He is also referred to as a civil servant in the imperial court. In 105 AD, Kailan presented a paper sample to Emperor Han Haiti. Records of the discovery of this paper are found in the official history of the Han dynasty. It is said that the emperor was overjoyed at Kailan's discovery, and Kailan was promoted to rank, was knighted and became a Kukong. But he later became involved in an anti-palace plot, which eventually got him expelled from the kingdom. According to the Chinese script, after being kicked out of the palace, Kailan took a clean bath, put on her most beautiful clothes, and drank some poison. Meanwhile, the papermaking process was spreading, with Korea as the first distribution area, before finally reaching Japan. The same type of paper penetrated Arabia during the Tang Dynasty and began to touch Europe in the 12th century. In the 16th century, paper reached America and gradually spread throughout the world, including Indonesia. Where paper was first made in Ponorogo since the 7th century made from local tree bark. The paper that had been made in Ponorogo was used as a medium for writing monks who studied Buddhism in the Sriwijaya Kingdom, because it was suitable for the tropics. However, even though he was able to make paper, Ponorogo did not write events on paper, but on a copper plate in the 9th century findings in Taji village about Buddhist religious events. In addition, paper made by Ponorogo is also used as a medium for painting Wyong Bay Bear which became the forerunner of Wayang Kulit. When Islam was in Indonesia, paper made by Ponorogo was used for the Ponorogo Eid balloon material in the celebration of Eid al-Fitr. In addition, Ponorogo paper was also used to write the holy book Al-Quran at the Tegal Sar Islamic boarding school which was raised by Kiyajeng Hassan Bisari, 